A lot of game devs out there are in real denial that AI is coming for them. Now, back when I started seeing AI images, I thought, well, they don't look like competition yet. Uh, this is uh, some of, you know, the, the kind of quality we saw back then. You know, I said a picture of a cat standing up looking at a t TV. I'll actually make myself just disappear here. You can see here, the cats don't look very good, right? Um, but, you know, things changed really rapidly and I'll show you the quality comparison with what I'm doing on Dali, right? Just now, boom, you, you got stuff like this. This is a young woman staring with open mouth, looking from right to left, extremely confused, math symbols superimposed, right? I thought I'd take a look at what the jobs, you know, what, what I think the jobs here uh, are that will be most under threat the soonest. And uh, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys really quick what the what the jobs I have listed are. Game testers. Okay, so game testers are responsible for finding bugs and errors in games before they're released to the public. However, with the advent of AI-powered tools such as Game Pulse from NVIDIA, this job is becoming increasingly redundant. Game Pulse uses deep learning tech to make sure that the bugs are already found before it crashes the game, and it reports those to the developers. Next up, character animators. Character animators are responsible for creating the animations you see in the game. Here, here's some concept art of an animation right now. Uh, however, AI is now being used to create realistic character animations that do that, you know, it, it does it automatically. Uh, the tool character engine from Unity Technologies can automatically generate realistic character animations and is being used by major game studios such as Ubisoft and Electronic Arts. Voice actors. Now, I thought I was, you know, in the clear that I had a talent maybe with uh, doing things with my voice, but, you know, uh, it's looking like we're getting replaced too. Voice actors provide the voices for game characters. However, AI is now being used to generate realistic character voices. The tool Vox, uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right, V-O-C-E from Unity Technologies can generate realistic character voices and is being used by major game studios such as Ubisoft and Electronic Arts. Composers, we've all heard of AI music. Composers create music that accompanies games. However, AI is being used to generate realistic game music. The tool Avia from AI Music can generate realistic game music and is being used by major game studios such as Ubisoft and Electronic Arts. Uh, right, so those were entirely, that entire segment that I just said was actually written by AI. <laughs> now, don't go looking up those tools. This was done to see how many people would go for it, how many people would believe in it. Let me show you what the prompt was here. I said, write me a 10-page article on which game dev jobs will not survive the rise of AI and why. Now, this is what it wrote me. It wrote me exactly what I just read to you. I have no idea about any of this stuff. Please do not go look it up. But let me know in the comments if you thought I was bluffing, like if I had had wrote this or not. If you thought something was up, could you just leave it down in the comments below? Or if you were believing it. Leave it down in the comments below. I want to hear what the what the perspectives are on this one because this blew me away. The fact that I can pretty much just tell it, write me a 10-page article, and it goes ahead and writes the 10-page article. All I did was reorder some of this stuff. Basically, is all I did, and I skipped over some. It's getting kind of boring. I just wanted to keep the keep the video rolling, right? Uh, anyway, so the point is that it's it does all that pretty much automatically, and it wasn't bad, but. When I looked into it, there were some serious errors. And the reason I'm talking about all this, I'm going to zoom in here just to get myself out of the way. The reason I'm talking about this, guys, is because I don't think it's over yet. I think there is a synthesis right now when it comes to AI and what AI will take over or not. I don't think it's just clean cut. I did that. I, I, I started my statement just to see how many people, again, would go for it. Uh, the game development industry, like, this is this is a decently written article. Like, and it was written in three seconds. Basically, you know, I just did this, gave this the prompt. I'm going to replace this next one, it writes. But I just basically did this, and it, it wrote it here. It wrote the whole thing. Game designers. So the one problem with this, I think if I can put it to, yeah, let's cancel that. It's writing the whole thing here. It's writing a brand new article. The one problem with that is it's totally nonsense. <laughs> so um, Game Pulse from NVIDIA does not exist. It's not a thing, right? Doesn't exist at all. So it looks 
kind of like this works on the surface, but I don't think it works. Uh, level designers, I don't think they're in threat anytime soon. Um, it, it, it talked about this part I removed, actually. I just removed the entire bit about level designers. I told it to write me 10 and I gave you like 9. Uh, anyway, so I removed that one because it made no sense. Like, it was like making levels for Mario Maker. They were using a, a tool other than Mario Maker to le make levels for Mario Maker. That doesn't make any sense. So, character animators. I did look up some tools on this, actually. Um, and there is this Plask. Plask.ai, if you guys have experience with it, let me know. But it's supposed to be faster animation, and uh, I think it's webcam based. You put it in, and it, it, it solves some of the issues using AI. That's basically the idea. I also looked up another one. You see here, um, this one here. This one here was pretty impressive for me. Okay, I have it open. So um, basically, I, I thought these were looking pretty good these animations but i hear that these animations are actually like they struggle to do things that haven't been done before right so i think game dev is partially the um the art of creating something new and unique because why play a game that's been done a million times right you want to play something that's never been done before and uh how do i say this uh these things are AI is kind of reproducing some of the things that have been done before. This looks really cool, though, I must admit. I mean, look at that. That looks pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, tell me if you guys have some experience with this one. So, conclusion of the matter is, uh, the war is not over yet. I don't think game dev as a career is under great threat at the moment. Uh, I do think that there's potential on this voice actor front. And I actually went and I generated some voices using AI. And I'd like to just play them. I'll stop my music here. And I I'd like to just play what I've generated here. Game testers are responsible for finding bugs and errors in games before they're released to the public. However, with the advent of AI-powered game testing tools, such as GamePulse from NVIDIA, this job is becoming increasingly redundant. GamePulse uses deep learning to identify bugs and crashes in games, and can even provide suggestions on how to fix them. So, not, not that bad, not as bad as it used to be. My friend, though, uh, just actually an acquaintance I know on Reddit, did a really good job. I can't show you the video because it's copyright, but uh, did a really good job. At yesterday's Meta Connect 2022, new products were displayed in the metaverse. Now, clearly his grammar isn't the best, but see, that's a script problem, not the AI problem. I thought this was a real human being in this post. Ongoing projects were revealed. The new Meta headset set called MetaQuest Pro, will go on sale on October 25th for $1,499. I mean, that's pretty convincing, is it not? Cents. It comes with a headset. I mean, MetaQuest I thought that was a real human being doing that. So I think voice acting is on the docket here uh, as far as non-viable careers. Now, uh, if you guys don't know, I run an open collective of 168 game developers. We work together on making uh, cool things like the game that uh, you saw behind me earlier. I don't want to bring it up. But we, we make cool things like that, right? And uh, the idea is, yeah, uh, it's an open collective working together to make cool stuff that we couldn't make alone. And uh, concept artists. We've been able to replace concept artists as a thing. I'll show you some of the concept art. It's really, like, mind-bogglingly good concept art. Uh, and it's all prompt generated. Now, when we want to, you know, concept something, uh, we just generally ask AI. So here, I'll pull up some of the concept art I made. This is for Sky Jellies, the game I'm working on right now. Uh, this is not actually by me, this is by one of our team members. And you can see here, these are the creations it's made. Uh, we're making a game about cute uh, creatures in the Sky Island Paradise, and you basically work with these creatures to build an amazing paradise, build an amazing village for them, and so forth. It's a really fun little game. I, I enhanced the color on this one, but basically this is the original. That's it. It's, it's really good. I mean, that's decent concept art. I also did it for some stuff like some backpacks. I'll show you those backpacks here. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up. There we are. So uh, this was for a sci-fi backpack that ended up in uh, the actual game. And yeah, not bad. This is all, this is stable diffusion. Not, not bad, not bad. Not, uh, I, th I think that it's uh, looking like, based on the progress we see, based on the old stuff that looked like this not, not long ago, and the new stuff that looks like this now, very well done, uh, very understandable, very helpful for a thumbnail. I use these for thumbnails all the time. Um, I think we're really progressing forward. I think this this thing is, you know, uh, it's a viable thing. And uh, I think the idea that it can make whole games, though, 
games that you will want to play. I don't think that's I don't think that's on the docket. I don't think we're we're under threat of that. That said, the last thing I would do currently, and this this might break some hearts, is try to be a game composer. Uh, game po composers, yeah, I, I lead that huge group of people that make games together. Uh, everybody wants to be a game composer, like literally everybody. And the more free content there is, like there's tons of free music, tons and tons of public domain music and stuff like that. I use it all the time. I use it in some of my videos. Do I have some on here? No, I don't. This is all our own music. But um, basically, I use it all the time because it's it's free and it's awesome. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that creates a huge database the AI can learn from and create new variants, essentially. And you put in a prompt and you'll get music. I wouldn't want to be the uh, trying to be a composer in the future. I think that's going to be too easy. Even sound effects, it's going to be pretty tough, I think, over the long term. I really appreciate our sound effect guys here. They're doing such a good job. I can't imagine them being replaced, but yeah, it's, it's coming. Marketing and PR, this is 100%. Like, uh, nowadays, when I want to write an article, I, I have the AI write it first, and then I look at the value of it, I cut out anything that doesn't make sense, and I rewrite it. That's generally how I'm doing it, because it just saves me a lot of time. So, it does help. Is it going to replace marketing people? I don't think so, by any means. This tool, Trailer Brain, uh, I don't think this is a thing at all. Uh, <laughs> Trailer Brain from AI Music, um, from my understanding, does not exist. but. Uh, let me see pitch gen from AI music again using AI music twice in a row like it's come up with all these really specific things FAQ gen from AI music yeah it's it's coming up with all kinds of random things localization definitely right uh, that's gonna be easy you're gonna plug that into a game it's gonna just do it for you it probably already exists I don't know leave leave it in the comments if, if so anyway guys i don't want this uh this video to go on too long if you if you appreciated this video you know what to do, leave a like if you'd like to join a group of game developers working on some cool stuff together like sky jellies the game i just showcased go ahead and click the link in the description we'd love to have you we're just volunteers researching how to make games together um and you're welcome to be part we don't like idea people we want people who actually do things um we just enjoy actually making games um so if you are a person that wants to actually put in work and make a game together with us and uh, figure out new things in the space join it there i'm gonna leave the uh, next James, video he's worked with a ea and ubisoft 17 years industry experience you see him there live he's not an ai he's a real person uh and you should definitely check out that video unfortunately the most valuable videos on this channel don't go viral so um Check it out. Definitely worth your time. Learn some stuff about what you should not do as a game developer from an actual pro over there.